Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs. We're going to be taking a look at the upcoming WWE Crowd Fund playset. The rumors, the leaks, all the figure news that you guys love. We're going to cover tons of it. There were so many good reveals this past weekend. And there's also, of course, the official notice done up right here by Mattel. Now, if you guys aren't familiar right here, I'm going to go ahead and sum it up. Mattel Creations, they've been due. I would say they've been due well over a year. So the fact that they are here now, this is confirmed to by the official right there, over there at Action Figure Attack, Steve Bowser. This is really awesome. Now, as you guys know, a lot of requests for specific entrance stages, as well as some that they've actually brought right there at SDCC. Now, if you guys recall, the very first one that they brought up was based off something current, which is the SmackDown. And definitely, drop a like, you guys. If this is something that you guys would love to have part of your whole display setup. Again, we're going to get into some different possibilities. This one right here was kind of, you know, at a grand scale. This was actually presented as a big maybe. They were asking like, yo... What if we did this? What if we did earlier? What if we did Raw is War back in the old attitude? And all these that you are seeing, of course, you know, it is being presented by Mattel, but they were creators that had actually pieced this together. So these are actual custom stages of what could be potentially coming up here for upcoming WrestleMania. A lot of good stuff. So much news. Definitely turn on that notification because it's not only Raw is War. We can easily also play it out right there in the WCW Monday nitro wars man or if you guys want to go all out i say we bring the fist right how many people have requested to bring ruthless into play right here now this is pretty cool because Jax did it given today's technology they could really extend this to the far reaches of the figgy realm i mean the fist this is so cool think about it we've had recent play sets that are solely devoted to ruthless aggression we've had a ring that could actually transition as to one of the pieces from ruthless aggression I know I'm a huge fan of Ruth, but it's safe to say that a lot of people in the comments did feel very similar as to where we're going with it. Now, getting to the reveals, you guys, we had AEW bring in some heat. This upcoming Blood and Guts exclusive right here, ringside. Ho oh, ho, CM Punk is continuing his figgy realm with an AE dub. Still a lot of uncertainty, but apparently from right here what we're seeing, there is no uncertainty that you guys have to worry about. MJF too, this could potentially be one of his best figures as of yet. Now, getting into the upcoming Supreme line, we have official images, and that's actually, come to think of it, these two should be landing in within the next week or so, so stay tuned. Turn on that notification. You guys got to come back here, and not only for Mr. Ray Phoenix, but also Penta Cero Mueller. And I gotta say the highlight of this is the fact that they just really threw in every little bit that this man comes with, right? They want the full entrance gear? Okay. You want to get it swapped out on the sides right there with all the interchangeable in-ring gear? It's going to be done. I'm very excited to see this 12-piece set landing in right here for the WHF Biggie fan. Now right here, Dan Housen, this is actually pretty cool. I gotta say, huge fan of this guy. Love what he's doing and the fact that he's being reflected in this manner. I gotta give it a huge stump up really glad as well as the upcoming prototypes that we're going to cover you guys because there are so many cool ones we're definitely going to get into right here of the house of black i do think that malachi he was well overdue with this slug so having all three right there with the matchy matchies i love it and since we are talking about matchy matchies we got to talk about butcher and blade because both of them they are coming with soft pieces, which, you know, by the looks of it, it does look like it's rubber, but at the same time, closer you look at it, you can actually see some wrinkles within the sleeves, which give, might give you a hint that, I don't know, I'm just wishful thinking, I know it's rubber, but you know what, one can only wish, and one can only hope that Abandon also gives you those interchanging options, so she's going to come with two different head scans, there were no final actual prints of it, it was all prototype, but pretty excited to see this, as well as the bunny, you guys, I'm telling you, AEW, they got some good stuff coming in we got wwe landing in with the crowdfund i cannot wait as soon as more news drops in you guys you know we got to bring it on here now as far as like a personal preference i would personally love to see the return of the elimination chamber now you can't do it up in basic because if it is a crowdfund you know they're going to authentic scale this playset to what it truly should be this was the last one that we got this was based off of basic 
And I would love to hear as to what you guys think as to what they should bring. Go all out in the comments. I appreciate you guys landing. If you guys are stopping by for the first time, hit the subscribe button. Drop a like. And we'll see you, my friends, on the next one. <laughs>